Whoa, we got some big news for graphics cards this week, fellas. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by VIPCDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 10, just search Activate under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. That's right, things are getting absolutely out of control this week. We got three huge stories to go over that are definitely going to cause some serious trouble for Nvidia, but could be very, very good news for gamers as a whole. So let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and get right into that first story. Now this one is definitely going to be a huge sigh of relief for all you out there who are hoping to pick up a new graphics card, but we're seeing the absolutely ridiculous and outrageous prices and thinking to yourself, what is going on here? Well, thankfully, it looks like GPU prices are starting to reduce and in some cases drastically, specifically taking a look at the RX 7900 XT. This week, it dropped as much as $100, bringing the price down from $900 all the way to $800. Now, the model model in question is actually the ASRock Phantom Gaming, however there are a couple other models I've seen for around that $800 price point. So not only are you getting a 7900 XT, but you are getting an AIB model which should definitely perform better than the reference version, but is it worth it at the reduced price of $800 because it is going to be bringing you better value than the 4070 Ti, but the 4070 Ti at $800 isn't necessarily a good deal, so should you go running out to purchase the 7900 XT and honestly here's what I'm going to say about that if you were really desperately wanting a 7900 XT and you were going to buy it anyway then yeah sure maybe now's a good time but for the majority of gamers I would say it's probably going to be good to continue to wait because although $800 is much better than $900 frankly I do think this card should be somewhere between $650 to $750 before I would go ahead and personally purchase it I think $750 is the limit $650 would be an absolutely insanely good deal and $700 would be very good. So I'd keep that in mind because when you compare it to the 6800 XT, which it's effectively replacing, I know it's the 7900 XT, but let's be realistic here, guys. It's basically an 800 XT replacer. Well, that thing launched at $650. So even $800 with inflation tagged on, I feel like it's still just a little bit too high. But either way you look at it, not only are prices already dropping, but I'm also hearing about potentially more price drops on not only AMD cards, but maybe even some NVIDIA cards like the RTX 4080 in the near future as well. So we could be on the cusp of some very good deals for RTX 40 and RX 7000 series GPUs. But now it's time to talk about the second story. And guys, this one's absolutely insane. I didn't think we'd be talking about it already, but yes, we are talking about RDNA 4. That's right. It's sounding like it could be coming sooner than you think. How soon? We'll talk about that in just a second. However, we do have some comments from AMD about RDNA 4. This is coming from a hot hardware article. I will go ahead and link you guys the article in the description below so you can go ahead and read the whole thing for yourself. But just to break it down, they do give some details about what the future of their GPUs is likely going to look like. And it's sounding like they're going to be leaning a little bit less into AI than NVIDIA is. However, they did drop a major bombshell when it comes to RDNA 4. And this is what they had to say about it. Quote, Quote, AMD's Rick Bergman says the company, quote, promises to evolve RDNA 4 with even higher performance in the near future. That's right, you heard me correctly. He said near future. Now, of course, that is very vague. I mean, near future could mean anything depending on your perspective, but to me, what this signals is there is a possibility that we could be seeing RDNA 4 as early as next year. Now, of course, there is a chance it could be another two year cycle, so do keep that in mind. However, when they say near future, to me, that signals more of six to 12 months, not something like 24 months. So I wouldn't be too surprised if we started hearing something about RDNA 4 next year. And the reason as to why I believe this could be possible is not only do we have these comments from AMD, but we also have to consider that RDNA 3 
Misery did, I think, underperform a little bit to what they were expecting. So if AMD wants to get aggressive and continue to grow their market share, as unfortunately they've actually been losing market share over the last year, then they are gonna have to get a lot more aggressive and start releasing their products faster with higher performance. And I think this strategy is gonna be absolutely necessary if they wanna go ahead and claw back again some of that market share. So we'll see whether or not they actually do it or maybe they'll do just a refresh next year or something like that. However, again, I think they are gonna have to do it if they don't wanna start playing third fiddle to not only Nvidia, but also Intel now, as trends would suggest that actually Intel's gonna continue to grow their market share and start to sell more volume than AMD when it comes to dedicated graphics cards, and that is not gonna be a good look for AMD in the eyes of their shareholders. But speaking of Intel, we actually have some huge news from Intel as well. It looks like Nvidia's under fire, not only from AMD, because not only are we talking about reduced prices from AMD, as well as a potential earlier announcement of RDNA 4, but we also have to consider that Intel's getting more aggressive as well. So yes, Nvidia's gonna be in for some serious trouble, guys, because just as Nvidia goes ahead and announces their new feature of upscaling video, well, Intel's right there behind them. It seems like Intel, when it comes to features, is actually getting more aggressive even than AMD and is starting to position themselves as a serious threat in the DGPU market, especially considering the massive war chest that they've been accumulating for a very long time. Meaning that yes, they have a lot of resources to pour into their dedicated GPU segment if they choose to do so. And it looks like they are because this week it looks like they're copying Nvidia already when it comes to their upscaling AI technology. That's right, they're gonna be this second manufacturer to have some sort of AI upscaling working for online video. And honestly, guys, some of the images here, which you're going to be seeing on screen right now, are very impressive. And in fact, if these do turn out to be representative of what you see in the real world, are actually more impressive than what NVIDIA was able to debut. So yeah, this is very impressive technology, and I do think that this sort of stuff is gonna be the type of thing that people are gonna be seriously considering when they pick up their next GPUs. I mean, yeah, it's a little thing, but these little things do add up their serious improvement to the quality of life when you're using a PC, and it does look like Intel's getting on top of it and competing directly with NVIDIA. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that NVIDIA's in for some serious trouble, or do you think that RDNA 4 is a long way off? Let me know where you guys thoughts in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.